Hi, I'm Gordon from Camera Labs, and this is a quick look at the Fujifilm XF 8mm f3.5 RWR, an ultra wide prime lens for the X mount mirrorless system. Announced in May 2023 and costing around $800 or pounds, the XF 8mm becomes Fujifilm's widest prime lens in the system to date, delivering coverage equivalent to 12mm that's ideal for capturing expansive landscapes huge architectural views and wide field Milky Way shots, not to mention capable of dramatic video, whether you're behind or in front of the camera. It's not the first XF lens to deliver 8mm. That honor went to the XF 8-16 f2.8 zoom back in mid-2018. But the new XF 8mm is a considerably smaller, lighter and more affordable proposition for those who don't need the zoom or the f2.8 aperture. Measuring 68mm in diameter, 53mm long and weighing just 215 grams, the XF 8mm really is a compact, lightweight lens that you'll barely notice carrying around and which also balances very easily on a gimbal. Compare that to the 8 to 16, which is over twice as long and weighs almost four times more. It's also comfortably smaller than the 10 to 24 zoom. The WR in the title stands for weather resistance, including a rubber grommet at the mount. The design is pretty simple with a clicky aperture ring closest to the barrel running from f3.5 to f22 in 130V increments and with a button to lock it in an A position for body-based control if preferred. Alongside this is a narrow but smooth manual focusing ring, after which you're already at the end of the barrel and the 62mm filter thread. Yep, the ability to mount standard screw-in filters on a really ultra-wide lens without mucking around with third-party accessories. This alone will make the XF 8mm a popular option for long exposure landscape photographers and videographers alike, both of whom rely on neutral density filters. Oh, and Fujifilm also supplies a bayonet hood with the lens. The optics consist of 12 elements in 9 groups, with a 9 bladed diaphragm system, and the closest focusing distance is an impressive 18cm from the focal plane, or just a few centimetres from the front of the lens itself. The autofocus motors are also quick and quiet in operation. I had a chance to try out the lens on the XS20 body launched alongside it, so before wrapping up this first looks video, I'll share some of the results that I got with the combination. As a fan of ultra wide lenses and an existing owner of the XF10 24, I expected to like the XF 8mm, and so far I've not been disappointed. I love the compact size and lightweight, making it an easy walk around companion. Sure, the f3.5 maximum aperture isn't going to deliver much in the way of shallow depth of field effects, nor match brighter lenses for astro work, but it has allowed the lens to meet the size, weight and price point. I'm particularly pleased to find a standard and actually surprisingly modest sized filter thread, again making it an attractive option for both videographers and long exposure photographers, and everyone will appreciate the weather ceiling. As for alternatives, there's a bunch of third-party 8mm lenses already available in the X-mount at a lower price, but beware these are generally fisheye lenses with considerable distortion, versus this XF 8mm which is a much better behaved ultra-wide angle lens. Spend a couple of hundred more and you could get Fujifilm's own XF 10-24 f4 in its latest weather resistant version, which may not reach quite as wide but boasts a flexible zoom range and the benefit of optical image stabilisation that is lacking from the 8mm. It's a really tough choice between these two lenses, but for sheer fun and drama without breaking the bank, the XF 8mm is a really attractive addition to the lineup which will delight both photo and video shooters. I'll be updating my review page for the lens at cameralabs.com if you'd like to see my future results and views, but in the meantime do let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.